everyone, this is Emily Leapart and today I'll be making a cute Halloween card with Simon Hurley Create products. I'll be using the Trick or Treat stamp set and using my favorite character, Artie, dressed as Mummy as well as the Unikitty because I can't resist a cute cat. The background will be created with a ghosted stencil. I just love the way these ghosts are swirling around and you can make this cute or spooky, so of course I'll be using it in a cute way to go with the images I've chosen. I've trimmed an A2 panel from Simon's stark white cardstock and taped it to my silicone mat with a rolled up piece of washi tape. I also have the stencil secured with washi tape. Now I'm going to take Minty Fresh, Remember Me, and Midnight Snack ink pads and my scrapbook.com domed applicators to ink blend the ghosts onto the cardstock. I start with the lightest color, which is Minty Fresh, and I cover the entire panel. I knew ahead of time that I wanted the colors to be darkest at the top of the panel and fade to the lightest shade at the bottom. I also wanted the colors themselves to fade into the next color, so I kept this in mind as I was laying down color. Sometimes I have to go back to a previous color to add more or use it to blend the colors together better, but these three colors blended so nicely the first time that I didn't have to do that at all. Don't these ghosts look amazing in these colors? Now I'm stamping the two images on another piece of Simon Stark white cardstock. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Pigment Ink so I can heat emboss them and watercolor with Simon's reinkers. I use the Magic Embossing Bag on the cardstock so the embossing powder doesn't stick to other areas of the cardstock. Then I stamp them twice to get a good solid impression. I use WOW Clear Sparkle Embossing Powder and set it with my heat tool. Now I'm going to put on some music and speed through the coloring process. to speed up the drying process and add blush to Unikitty. Then I fuzzy cut the images with my Cutter B scissors. I don't want to cover up the background, but it turned out to be darker than I expected, and I wanted the images and sentiment to show up more. I cut a piece of vellum that measures 3 and 3 quarter inches by 5 inches, and I put both the stenciled panel and the vellum piece in my Mini Misty stamping tool to gauge positioning. Once I was satisfied, I removed the stenciled background and shifted the vellum piece into the corner of the Misty. I use the image to position the Unikitty stamp so I can stamp her on vellum since I cut off her whiskers when I was trimming her from the stark white cardstock. I ink up Unikitty, cover her with clear sparkle embossing powder to match the original stamped images. Then I ink up the sentiment and use WOW black twinkle embossing powder since I want the sentiment to be darker and more sparkly than the images. You can see how super sparkly both types of embossing powder look, but the black one is definitely more sparkly than the clear version. Next, I attach the stenciled panel to my card base using my regular tape runner. Then I use a vellum adhesive to secure the vellum panel to the stenciled background. I use three different sizes of glue dots to secure the images to the panel. I use pop-up glue dots to give them just a tiny bit of dimension. At this point, I thought my card was done, but looking at it, I felt it needed a frame. I use A2 rectangle dies to cut a thin frame from graphite foil cardstock and secure this to the vellum using liquid glue. And now my card is done. I love the combination of the bold background with the cute images and the sparkle of the embossing powder as well as the shine of the foiled frame. If you enjoyed today's video, please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. Simon Hurley Create products are available at Ranger Inc., Scrapbook.com, and a cherry on top. Be sure to head to my blog for all the details, more photos, and a full shop list. Thanks so much for watching!